video, it looks like Cass is one badass fighting motherfucker, huh? Yeah. What it doesn't reveal is that most of the time, Cass is like, hey, tell, me, tell me how to kiss a girl. Somebody um, dropped their feather. <laughs> Sacrifice the chicken. <laughs> I can still see the blood stains. How's it going? Wow, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Another, another event going on concurrently or something? Yeah. All for you. All for you. Oh, that's the exactly what I was looking for you to say. Yeah. Uh, shall, we, shall we jump right in? Yeah. Uh-uh, not you. Yes. <laughs> No, you're not. Uh, I can translate for you. Uh, I promise. She said you look very handsome. Today. <laughs> um, I promised my mother that I would tell her you were her favorite character. Good promise to keep. Like it. Where's your mother now? She's uh, actually, I think she's up in Minnesota. My cousin's getting married this weekend. Wow. So why is she there? <laughs> wow. She Weird priorities. <laughs> Um, tell her I said thank you, um, but that she needs to get a priority straight. I will. But I do have a Oh, okay. Um, Sit down. Oh, there we go. There you go. Um, I was just wondering, I know that there's like a lot of improv that goes on in the show, like uh, Adrian was telling us about Chisel Chess and Jared the other day, um, and how that was not scripted, and Jared was dying laughing. But I was just wondering, like, how much do you guys do improv, and like, how much that actually makes it on the air? Um, a fair amount. I mean, season, I, I think pretty close to the end of season four, uh, I, there was an episode where I did a fair amount of improvising. Um, and I was, you know, just at that point starting to get comfortable enough on the show that, you know, when you first get there, you're a kid on the block, you don't really know how, what protocol is. And, uh, I guess it's like there's a reverb. Uh, um, and then the next episode, there's a script supervisor. Uh, the script supervisor is the person who just sort of makes sure the continuity is right, like tells you, you know, you were taking a drag off your cigarette when you said this, so that when they do the close up, you match and you, everything edits together, right? And uh, before we started shooting that episode, she came up and she said, uh, you know, just talk to the uh, Eric and the other uh, producers down in LA, and they specifically asked me to ask you not to improvise anymore. <laughs> so they just wanted me to tell you specifically <laughs> to say what's written on the page. So actually, hardly any improvising happens. It's kind of like a rare little button at the end of a scene or something like that. But for the most part, I think that you know they have like they they spend a lot of time trying to make the scripts perfect down in LA. And obviously, when they get up, up they're not great. But. <laughs> um, but you know, we don't want to make them feel bad, so we say pretty much exactly what what is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What? Um, What did it look like to you? <laughs> People say it looked painted on. Oh. Man. So, which was it? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. I mean, the truth is, I went through a, a hell of a lot, but the whole thing was just painted on. Um, I'm permanently disfigured. <laughs> And I read the script, and they had an image there of what they wanted the city to look like, and I, you know, and I, I did it before coming in to shoot that morning at home uh, with a straight razor. <laughs> and, hey, hold on, hold on. And, um, and then, uh, so, and they had a special effects makeup person, uh, unbeknownst to me, who was uh, 
there for the day, who obviously didn't have to do anything because I had already done it, but... Um, yeah, I guess they were planning to do some sort of prosthetic and make it look like it was carved in, but then they didn't have to because I had already done it. Um, we, we, the, the shooting took a little longer than usual because I kept fainting from blood loss. Uh, but I think you will agree, it, it led to their authenticity. Thank you for both answering my question and for being extremely funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for once again trying to ask a serious question. She does it every time and I, I admire you for your fortitude and stick to Um, you got me once. Yeah, well let's, this is called once. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, not usually an uh, episode that I answer questions about, but okay. <laughs> but I can't really hear you very well. It's all right. No. No. Um, yeah. You wanna you wanna use my mic? No. <laughs> Try again. Let's see what you can hear. Can you hear me now? Not really. You wanna you wanna use my mic? Dean of. <laughs> um, 
I, I, you know what? It, I, it's, there's, diff there's different things about uh, a lot of different episodes that are fun to, to do. Um, you know, it's fun to do like the physical stuff when you get into fights and cut people's fingers off. And, <laughs> um, and, and yet those can actually be the most frustrating at times too because it's sometimes, you know, like that fight with, uh, with Jensen where we were in the alley, you know, you can break that up into a billion little pieces and shoot just one little second at a time and it ends up taking like all day and eventually your, you know, knuckles are sore. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's more more than the actual material of the of the scripts of the of any given episode. What makes it most fun is just like the banter that we have um, backstage. It's not backstage. It's, there's no stage. <laughs> uh, but, what's that? Off screen. Off screen. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, sometimes for whatever reason, like one episode, it will just be particularly ridiculous, and we'll just be having like um, the uh, my bloody Valentine. I don't know why, but that was just nonstop laughs <laughs>, laughs to the point where it got really frustrating. Um, it's sort of like a sine wave; like it's great, and then it's like this is not fun anymore. <laughs> Let's get off. Um, not. Uh, see that bus coming <laughs> and not get out of the way. Um, thank you, though. I say though because I didn't really answer your question. <laughs> Hi. Do you have notes? Yes, I do. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> uh, where I come from, that's called cheating. Um, I we have kind of some distortion. Yeah. Really? Yes. Those of you who are not in the front row didn't see that, but she literally went, no, you, you have to. Victor Frankl wrote a, a 
amazing book. Um, what is it called? Man's Search for Meaning. Um, and it was really through the suffering and travails that he experienced in, in a concentration camp in World War II that he discovered that the outward suffering that we experience in life and the material realm that really matters. It's who we are and how we face those difficulties on the inside of the world. And sitting in, in the Impala when Jared farts <laughs> has very much been one of those teaching experiences. Um, I think that we can learn so much through that suffering um, to face it head on. Especially when you can't unroll the window. Because it'll fuck up the shot. So I think that that probably has been one of the most valuable lessons. For sure. It's a very inside the studio. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Very much. Very, very... Not method so much as... Just suffering. But, I, yeah, thank you. Suffering, but <laughs> I, yeah, thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, so my question came out of a random discussion this morning, uh, getting ready. Um, okay. We were talking about thank favorite, for that backstory. <laughs> favorite TV show. I been thinking about this question. Uh, Ninety-five. <laughs> favorite childhood TV shows, like. The cartoons, when, you know, cartoons are actually good. Right. <laughs> and I was just wondering what yours was. Oh, you mean like, like My Little Pony? <laughs> <laughs> was that a show? That was a show. Yeah. It? Yes. It was. I remember it. Um, no, I, I, and Gem, right? Gem. Gem. Oh, my God. Really great show. No one remembers that. One person, two people do. <laughs> Look it up. Learn something. Uh, I liked, I always liked, the, oh, so you're asking me about TV shows in general? Well, what, what was one of your favorite TV shows? I don't know why I'm talking about cartoons. Okay, well, um, <laughs> Doctor Who, when I was really little, <laughs> my, my classmates when I was like in first and second grade were watching Doctor Who and it scared the shit out of me and I never watched it. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how they can watch that. I watched 3, 2, 1, Contact. Yes! Yeah. Um, and then, oh, huge for me, huge, was Dukes of Hazzard. That was My parents were separated, and I would go to my father's house every Friday night, and it was awesome because, A, my mom didn't have a TV, so, and B, Friday night was the best night to go to your dad's because he did have a TV, and, and Knight Rider, and uh, Dukes yes. of Hazzard were on. Yes. And if we could stay up through all of Knight Rider, I mean, if we stayed awake, we would watch it, but usually we fell asleep. But, um, great shows. And, and uh, people who are producers on this show uh, worked on, or I, Kim Manners, I believe, worked on Dukes of Hazzard, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that there are some through lines. <laughs> Two brothers, Bo and Luke Duke, mm -hmm. Sam and Dean, an old car, the General Lee, the Impala. Yeah. I, don't know, I think that it's like, I think it's, I think it's the same formula. Yeah. It's the same tired old formula being hashed out. <laughs> um, I don't know who that would make me, Enos? <laughs> I don't know who Enos, but he was in the show. Um, Daisy Duke, I'm not Daisy Duke. No. Roscoe. Roscoe Pico. Yeah. Coltrane. Coltrane. Wow. Why do we still know these things? <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. I hate to hate you with another serious question here. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, you see a lot of different personalities for Castiel. You see him as like the druggy hippie. You see him as uptight and I have to stick up my ass at the beginning. <laughs> and now he's kind of like badass, I'm mellowing out sort of. So if you had to choose a legacy out of those three for Castiel to go out as in the well, series, what would you choose? Drunk Cass. You mean drunk? Drunk. Drunk. 
I mean, Drunky Hippie looks like he'd probably be the most fun in the sack. The problem is, <laughs> do you really want some drug addled loser hanging around all the time that you're going to have? Like, yes. He clearly does not have a job. <laughs> you know, he's not going to be putting, you know, brain on the bacon at all. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like an amalgamation of all of them, really. I mean, they're, it's, it's, uh... I, I, so far, actually, I have to say, I like where, where Cass is going this season so far. Um, we, I just got the script for uh, 610. Don't know what it's called, but it's, I, I go by the numbers. And uh, it looks good. It's good. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Cass is going to get some. <laughs> um, not to spoil anything. Did I just hear a child? Yes. <laughs> Hey, really noted. Hi. Hi, I was wondering if you as Misha could choose any character out of Supernatural to live with, which one would it be? Characters, not persons. Characters, not people. Oh, yes. okay. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Impala. Yeah, the Impala, I could get her. I could, I could ride around. Lisa would be nice. Lisa would be nice. <laughs> I, I hate to sort of step on Dean's toes, but that would be nice to spend some time with Lisa. <laughs> um, and then she has a and she has a nice house. Cute kid. She seems to like, you know, be handy around the kitchen and everything, and she's really cute. So if I was gonna live with anyone, she looks like she'd make a good roommate. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, look, I'm not Sam or Dean because those guys are always stuck in some sleazy little motel. Not a, not a good place to live, period. And also, if you're living with one of them, you're living with the other one. <laughs> so it's crowded. Uh, you're gonna have to wait for the bathroom with those guys. Um, yeah. It's hard to say. I mean, Crowley, on the other hand, has great things. Like, you'd never even have to see each other as roommates. Because he's in, May what? What? Oh, what do you think Jared? He's, um, he's the taller one on the show. Uh, the funny looking one? Jared. Oh, oh. There are a lot of people. You're welcome for getting Misha off stage. <laughs> Am I the... <laughs> Like that. 
there's no threat here. Stay. Good dog. You too. Stay. Good dog. Sleep. Way to go. Okay, I guess we'll better flip. Hi guys. Hi. Um, I have a rather serious question. Okay, he has a not serious answer. It's <laughs> <laughs> not serious. Um, Vancouver Misha told a rather amusing tale about getting a text on That's his not birthday. That's not a question. Misha did that in Jersey. That was annoying. I'm like, Wait, about getting a what? A text? Oh, the text that he sent you oh, on his birthday yeah, yeah, that yeah. came in one letter at a time. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm surprised nobody asked you, Jared. He told us that you used your American phone in Canada by accident, so I just how much that phone bill was. It was 25 cents a text, so it was not... It was, mine's 50. Yours was 50. Mine was... Mine was... 25 cents. Mine was 25 cents a text. Yeah? So... So Misha didn't have Canadian phones, so I texted him for his birthday, but I texted like H, send A, send B, send B, send B. I texted like, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. And then he texted, blank, blank, blank. And I texted, blank, 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 blank. Was that <laughs> And I was sitting there going, hee, 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 And then I realized that I looked at my phone, and I have two phones. I have one from Canada, one from the U.S. Um, and I, I hadn't realized I was using my U.S. phone, so it was charging me too. <laughs> Sort of, sort of kick myself in the butt. <laughs> totally worth it though, right? Yeah, it, but he, it cost him twice as much. What I haven't told you is you did wake me up with that text too. So, <laughs> and added little bonus for you. Cherry on top, if you will. <laughs> that makes me happy. But the phone call to Thailand, I didn't get charged for. No, I did. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> it was good. And it, it was like, quick, quick, who knows how to call Asia? <laughs> I did, I was walking around, uh, our key guest is named uh, Chris, and he's married numbers. How many numbers are there? So I was pushing 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 4, 2, 0. Uh, so, yeah. That was pretty charging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now to go left or right? The back or the front? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Now we have to fight for it. I'll tell you what, mud wrestle for it. Is that a dry erase board you're rolling in? It is. Um, my friend lost her voice this weekend, so I volunteered to ask for it. Really? Yeah. Can do it. She can't. She really Let's see her try. <laughs> is it painful? Okay. Um, I want Wait, what was it? She's, she's gonna try. She's gonna try. She's gonna try. She was so loud. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. You really did lose your voice. Were you stuck in a well or something? <laughs> well, I really thought I knew you. Last week I was trying to rescue a dog when I saw it outside of the house. Oh, no. Time to go down a well. That is in my house. And it fell in a well. But you have a funny voice. <laughs> Why are you choosing to talk like that? <laughs> this is fun. So tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? We're actually going to have her answer our questions now. So you ask us, we tell her, she can train.
Will you pretend you lost your voice? Honestly, I was considering it for like 10 seconds. Uh, my question's for both of you. Um, Mostly for me, right? Of course. Of course. It's your handicap. <laughs> um, obviously, you guys have gone through a lot of persona changes, casting and playing. You spit out of hell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We, we don't know yet. So, um, my oh, yeah. question is, of all the personas you guys have had to do, which ones were your favorites? Seems how I am. So it'll come when you're least It'll happen if Misha's doing something funny and I want the attention back on me, I'll probably You're gonna have a lot of <laughs> uh, my my favorite was uh, getting to play with the screw. My favorite I think was uh, Castiella. Was it something we ever shot? <laughs> but I just have had the most fun with her. Uh, Giardini and Castiella. <laughs> yeah, they haven't actually shot that stuff yet. We, we, I mean, they haven't talked to us about it, but we kind of know what's coming down the pipe, so we spent a lot of time out at uh, a couple of really cool clubs in Vancouver. <laughs> On those characters. Yeah, yeah. meeting people and business. Yeah, business survival. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yes. I had a serious question to ask. She actually just asked it, which is really good because I All right, left. Two The first one was serious. The second one is more frivolous. Um, so can I ask it? Um, more frivolous? More frivolous. Frivolous. All right. Frivolous. 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 <laughs> Do either of you wear cologne? And if so, what kind of cologne? Britney Spears has this new line. <laughs> We all we all do. <laughs> Actually, I brought the oil of a musk ox. <laughs> and then I, I just brought it. Oh, so it's like a musk ox Misha. <laughs> By the time it gets to me, it makes an interesting concoction. I call it synergism. <laughs> we should market it. We should market it. Okay. I was just going to say because. Do you, do you wear you the cloning guy? I'm. I'm. I'm do you smell good? You smell good. You smell well. You smell, you smell well. well. <laughs> good Lee or well. I do. I do wear cologne. I, I I smell bad. So when I uh, that's yeah. <laughs> I'm a sweater. No, honestly, I'm a sweater. Like, you'll probably notice. Uh, there will be. Uh, so I wear cologne. We're, we're like I, uh, old spice deodorant. That's my face. That would be that would be like. Like, let's say, this is the foundation. That, let's make a pasta dish. <laughs> the noodles would be high endurance, um, old spice. And maybe the, the carbonara would be, uh, it's just Abercrombie. Uh, fierce. <laughs> Do I smell fierce? You do that way And then the Moscox Misha. Synergism. For synergism. <laughs> Jake does what he, like, Cause, but you also you work out too, like so you yeah. work out and then go in to shoot a scene and you're still sweating and you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's an awful way out. Everybody's like, <laughs> so cold. What the hell? It's so hot. I'm gonna change my shirt. Can somebody give me a shirt? What are you doing? There will be times when I'll actually, that's fine. There will be times when I'll, I'll go out and I'll like do some sets in the gym. We have a workout trailer that follows us. And then they'll call me in the set. And I guess that's pretty cool. Like all the poor girls are wearing coats and stuff. I'm like, crank up the AC. It's pouring on me. Everything's shivering. Yeah, here, get back. Get back. I'm sweating out. Is there a, there's a camera? <laughs> Y'all haven't quite figured out yet what to do with your hand. 
he at least like pretend to play the hair or something, but I'm just kind of goes up. <laughs> something a little more subtle, like. They're smelling the pits. Thank you. So, yeah, sorry. I was just going to say, I'm sure most women here would agree um, if they had their picture with you today, you smell great. Yeah! 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 Okay. What's your name? Can I ask? Joshua. Oh, Joshua, we met before. How What's this? Joshua, come here real fast. Come on up, man. He can give a really awesome high five. What's this? Come do it on stage. Come do it on stage. Clark Kent. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Who's that guy? That's Tom. 
laugh. We had a laugh, but uh, I don't know why it didn't make it. I think it was before we knew we were going to go for a full season, so we didn't know we were going to need a gag reel or have a gag reel, so it was lost forever. Aww. We probably also would have had to pay him a million dollars. <laughs> he owns the rights to the show now for that shot. <laughs> Is that true as well, Mitch? Yes, that is true. <laughs> yes. Where are you getting the energy? What energy? <laughs> oh, it's illegal. It's yeah, illegal. Talk to my pharmacist. I don't want to get. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. We don't need. Yeah. Is he bringing their dog? Is he bringing their dog? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to get anybody in the medical profession in trouble, so I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Can I just shake your hand to say you're congratulations on getting that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, I, I, for those who are I am probably a new father. <laughs> <laughs> She bench pressed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were commenting, it's, it was like the most out of place. But like coming from you, we thought it was gonna be like, what do you like to add a rainbow or yeah. Like, <laughs> like you look so quiz What's your favorite Jonas brother? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, we got, we got plenty. All right, well, uh, I'm scared. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, all right, have fun. Right. Find some shoes, though. If you're gonna go to work, you need shoes. Yes, Jerry, you're Yes! Thank you, I'm fine there. I'm not saying what I've been thinking all along. Do you want to get some? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. She said my hair is better than me, she's. Well, I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, it's just... It's not just serious, but it's well worthy. <laughs> it's intelligent. It's a sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so ask it again. Sometimes I'm asking you, Larry Sorry. No, nope, you like it. Uh, I can't wait to hear Misha's answer. Sorry. Thank you, Ernie. How do you feel about that? Does it interfere with your own personal religious views? Satanism? Wow. <laughs> Does it interfere with our satanic personal feelings? No, it's other sickness. We're in um, the mythological background portrays them negative. Blah, blah, big word, big word. <laughs> You I didn't hear Jerry. Jerry was not in the I didn't hear Jerry. She didn't say anything about your hair. It doesn't make sense. Don't, yeah, sorry, we don't know about that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, <laughs> we just know that. I, I don't know, maybe, is anyone else doing a panel later? Who knows yeah, just, maybe, maybe, uh, Richard. Yeah, or, or Cliff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't know if I consider, how does it portray them negatively? Well, I mean, there's 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 in a, in a bit of a negative light. Well, like, all the angels that are on the show, the only good ones are the ones that left heaven. And then, when you guys went to heaven, Josh was like, oh yeah, by the way, God hates you, quit looking for him. Christian rights of the United States. Of America. <laughs> you're, you're making your um, world the world of her. Yeah. But we're not saying this says you No. I'm just kidding. No, I think angels are in the Bible portrayed as warriors of heaven. So this was to make them, you know, not the Aunt Yeti's little baby in a angel wings. This was to show, like, hey, these are, you know, everybody talks about Satan's demons, and we've been fighting demons and hellions for five years. They were like, well, let's make it clear that there are warriors on the other side as well. Battle. So um, I think that's what, what their attempt was. I don't think they were trying to dog or religion or anything. That was great. <laughs> Thank you for was talking into that ear. Oh, um, <laughs> I have to say, we did portray God as sort of a neurotic, alcoholic, prostitute using writer. <laughs> We portrayed them very well. Yeah, we did. Exactly. No, we did it. Touche. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. <laughs> Sorry you were interrupted by woman number four. <laughs> the big camera. Okay, to the right. Hi. Um, so far be it for me to anger my master, but I have a question for Garrett. Oh. Yeah. 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 However, implied, however, that I was her master. <laughs> but acknowledging the present tense that she has an opportunity to talk to a higher you. <laughs> well, it's actually better this year because last year I was the one who dissed you, so... Oh, yeah. Just me? Yeah, because you missed uh, me now. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> so she's making the rounds. I dissed you last year, so I'm going to dish the B show this year. <laughs> okay, so, um, Jared, you play Sam as yep. this. A what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Still, I play Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you play Sam as this guy who, like, kicks down so doors tall. and, like, punches people and breaks things. And you're basically kind of like, rawr, gigantic. <laughs> Was 
still weak? <laughs> Is he hard to get going?
Have you been to any of the episodes? No, but I would go back and redo them so that I'm in them. <laughs> Or, or Hugh Jackman listens to heavy metal when he's doing the Wolverine movies. And I was wondering 
Hey, listen to that. I, see. And I was wondering if, Jared, you did something similar to portray uh, Lucifer or Misha when you did the drunken cast that was absolutely awesome. He was wasted. That scene was written in French Doritos, is what I used. The scene was written in sober Pascal, but by the time I got to set, that was on the, on the spur of the moment of rewrite. I don't do anything about that. I just close my eyes and try to remember my lines. I don't need too many Cheetos, so I don't want to get so I can use something like, ah, oh, Jared, you're great, can we just do one with your eyes open? <laughs> Digitize them. I don't know, I'll bet. Oh, yeah, totally, I'll Thank you, guys. Thank you. There's also, I, I would say, that trying to do method television work oh, yeah. would be impossible. The, 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 yeah, they, they can do it for movies because it's, you know, it's a four-month shoot or whatever. So you're, it's, it, there's an end in, in sight, whereas television, I mean, if we were doing better work, we'd be basically living a different as a different person for the last six years. <laughs> so that would you'd go insane. <laughs> I decided not to tell him that. Thank you. 
Thank you. Is that left? Um, hi, I'm Chandler. Um, Jared. <laughs> to Misha. That's Chancellor's name. With an N on there. Um, this is for Misha. Uh, you play such a straight face character when uh, Jensen throws all these like sarcastic comments at you. How do you do that? Like, play a straight face character? Yeah. Yeah, guys, how am I so good at that? <laughs> Because uh, I ruined more things than anyone laughing. <laughs> it's just the and he's had hell of a lot of time to go either. So rarely there, and when I am, I'm ruining takes because I can't stop laughing. <laughs> it's just the rare moments when they get me straight face that they use um, in the final show. We actually do bite my cheeks. <laughs> Reese is actually. Um, I I've seen. There's a bit of bit of a learning curve. I mean, you when you first came on, it was you're bad, but. You, <laughs> <laughs> He, he's actually gotten better at keeping a straight face, especially when Jared's around, because uh, <laughs> you like to... Oh yeah, he, Jared likes to screw people on the cover. <laughs> and, uh, and... With Misha, I, 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 I learned that very early, and so I'm, I'm able to... He's a stone, it's amazing. <laughs> and, but you, you've come a long way now, too. I mean, I, I can see... But I, can see small, but I can see the acting goes away. In the motel, though, he was a wreck. He does a break. I was in the motel, he was a mess. You were a mess in the motel. Every scene is in the motel. <laughs> I think Jensen, I think we're all in it. It's in the motel. And then they're talking about like, angels or something. And Dean says something pretty funny, and Sam's kind of, he, he's acting like a little bit. It's in the motel. I think that's it. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh. Uh, that's, oh. What's it? Oh. No one wants to ask me questions. We ask well, each other questions. Yeah, okay, no more questions. Ask each other. No more questions. Well, all right.